I need toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. I'm out of toilet paper. It's my corona. I need toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. Hey, welcome to Volume 1, Episode 1 of Dr. Don's Duty Dispatches, the Year of the Corona. Special thanks to the very talented Chris Mann, who provided the music bed underneath our opening credits. Used without permission, um, either till he grants it or sends us a cease and desist order. Either way, we're appreciative. Today, by the way, is Easter Sunday. So, hallelujah. Um, it seems a perfect time for our inaugural episode and a good time to give rise to new things. As a good Catholic, I think, well, as a decent Catholic, I, for one, am thankful that Jesus didn't try to rise in the year of the corona. Uh, he wouldn't have had much of an audience with social distancing, and clearly, he would have had a very different look. So what are the duty dispatches exactly? Well, they're a public service, pure and simple. In the year of the corona, we are seriously in need of some perspective, some safe harbor in the midst of all this chaos and crazy, some promise of a dawn visible at the end of this long, dark night. So on the way to some of that perspective, here are the facts. There's nearly 62 million men in the United States married to someone. Men just like me who two months ago had no idea whatsoever they'd be locked up in a confined space 24-7 with their spouse for what looks like the foreseeable future. Now, most of us clearly didn't sign up for this. And in fairness, uh, neither did our significant others. So help. So a third of those men, that's nearly 20 million, have been married 25 years. Another 10 million, guys just like me, are coming up on their 50th. But I don't care how long they've been married, none of that's going to ease the angst in the year of the corona. And a good portion of those guys are right now, this very minute, hiding in the bathroom, trying to get a moment's peace, just like I am. Look, I here for you. I'm going to try to be here for you, doing what I can to help us through this crisis of cohabitation. That's the basis of the dispatches, the raison d'etre, a brief conversation among friends in our very private place. I'm going to check in from time to time when I have time, and believe me, there's precious little of it. I've got about two or three minutes, and I've already used half of it before there's a knock on that door, wondering if I'm okay in there which is really code for, are you going to sit in there much longer doing nothing? Last thought, you're probably wondering where the name duty dispatches comes from. The word for me comes from one of my earliest memories as a child. We'd be sitting at the uh, dinner table and I'd start to squirm. My dad would look over and say, do you have to go duty? D-O-O-D-I-E. Well, the entomologists think that duty has become a euphemism for what used to be, have you done your duty or do you need to go do your duty, D-U-T-Y, which apparently was something other parents said to their kids um, when they had to go duty, D-O-O-D-I-E. So that's where that all came from. And I'm doing my duty, D-U-T-Y, for men under stress everywhere. In the very place where you actually do your duty, D-O-O-D-I-E, in the year of the corona. These are extraordinary times that require extraordinary measures. I'll meet you when I can, but even at my age, there's a plausible limit to how many times a day I can claim duty calls. Hey, you all right in there? What'd I tell you? Right on cue. I'm good. I'll be right out. See you next time. I'm coming. I need toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. I'm out of toilet paper.